figure shows a stress strain curve for ductile materials. The graph starts from origin which means there is no stress at this point up to point 1 from origin Hooke's law is obeyed and also stress is directly proportional to strain. This portion of graph is called as proportional limit stress. Graph between 1 and 2 is not a straight line but is slightly curved. But still the material has elastic property and on removal of load there is no permanent deformation. This point 2 is called as elastic limit point and corresponding stress is called as elastic limit stress. Beyond point 2, the material undergoes plastic deformation until point 3 is reached and the cross-sectional area of the material decreases. The value of stress at this point is called as upper yield stress and due to further elongation the value of stress decreases and the point 4 is called as lower yield stress. After point 4 the specimen elongates by a considerable amount without any increase in stress and this happens up to point 5. The portion from uh, point 4 to 5 is called as yielding of material. After point 5 the material gets strain hardened and the material strength increases requiring more stress for its deformation until point 6 is reached which is called as ultimate stress. This is the maximum stress which a material can tolerate in a simple tensile stress. Beyond point 6, the necking of material begins and cross sectional area is considerably decreased which results in increase in intensity and finally specimen breaks at point 7 which is called as breaking point.